Word of Faith Netcast is on the air. Well, praise God. Thank you for joining us here on the Word of Faith Netcast. I trust that you're having a great time this week studying the Word of God, listening to the Word of God. I want to remind you once again about Word of Faith Radio, WFR.org. I'll put it up here on the screen. You can go to that website, and there are many other ways. There's actually in the upper right-hand corner of the website, there's a uh, link to the Android player. So if you have any kind of Android device, even a, a tablet like this, you can listen to Word of Faith Radio right on your tablet, your phone, your smartphone, whatever, it's available for you to hear the Word of God. And we've got a lot of neat things I want to share with you this week. We're talking about what is faith, how is faith developed, who has faith, all kinds of areas concerning the faith that is available from the Word of God. You know the Word of God says in Romans 10, 17, So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So we're going to be getting into that in just a few minutes. First of all, though, I've got a really special uh, segment, I guess you'd say, here on the netcast. I want to uh, show you something that I think will be a blessing to you. You've heard me talk about our website. We've just recently redesigned our Word of Faith Ministries website, which is here at wofm.org. So I encourage you to go to the website, check it out, see the changes. And right now, though, let's go into a little uh, introductory run-through, so to speak, of the new features of the website. All right, I'd like to show you our new website for Word of Faith Ministries. It's a complete redesign of the site. And as you can see, we have some very uh, beautiful and colorful images depicting the uh, death of Jesus on the cross, his resurrection, this one, I think, represents heaven, so to speak. And then, of course, reaching the world with the gospel. So uh, just some images like creation here to invoke some uh, ideas. Now, we're going to click on Video Netcast. And I want to show you the Video Netcast here. We've expanded the size of the screen for playing the, the netcast. netcast. And we've given you uh, some there. additional options where you can play it in a new window, you can download it directly from the website, you can even embed it in other websites if you uh, desire to do that. And uh, we can play the netcast from here, uh, well, both the video and we also have the audio available uh, where you can just listen to the audio if you want to do that. Now notice over here at the side we have various ways of subscribing to the video netcast. Uh, all the different ways you can click on that button and uh, it will give you the information. And then also we have the Word of Faith radio player of course. You can play it even in a pop-up window here. And uh, by doing that you can surf through the website, go to other pages, even other websites and leave the Word of Faith radio player playing. So that's very useful. And of course we've got all of our videos posted here. Uh, we're still doing a little tweaking on the site, so uh, as time goes by, we'll get them all kind of cleaned up. Now you can go into the menuing system here and select from various resources, video, audio netcast, teaching articles. Uh, you can go in and actually select an article from our archives of uh, teaching articles that I've done through the years, and I encourage you to do that. We also have our Word of Faith broadcasts where you can scroll down and select one and listen to it right off of the website, which is pretty handy. And you can even go into the resources here again. And if you click on resources, you can actually see uh, all kinds of information that's valuable to you as a believer that's out there on the web. Very interesting stuff. Also, teaching messages. We have our messages out of here. You can click to listen online or right click and save that link as and you can download the message uh, as an MP3 file. Play it on your iPod or your other media player 
We also have our other websites, Hyperfaith, SpeakFaith.tv, The Speak Faith Project, and our YouTube channel, of course, available. And if you'd like to donate to the ministry, you can click on Donate and be able to donate. And, of course, this is an important one. Subscribe to our email newsletters. If you haven't already signed up, go ahead and put in your email address, hit the Subscribe button, and you'll be subscribed to the newsletter. So lots of information out here little biography of, of me, uh, just all kinds of, of good stuff. And down here at the bottom of the page, you notice you can even send an email directly from the website and uh, ask a question or whatever. You can click on the logo there at the top at any time and get right back to the beginning, uh, to the home page of the website. So I trust you enjoy the website and the new look and feel. So, praise the Lord. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, demonstration there of how the website works. And I just want to encourage you to use that as a resource. You know, we don't just put it out there uh, for the fun of it, so to speak. It's available as a ministry to you, to your family. You may have a family member all the way across the country from where you live and you want to share with them the uncompromising Word of Faith message. You can use that website as a resource. Direct them to that. We've got articles there, as you saw, and videos, all kinds of things that will minister to them from the Word of God. So I'd encourage you to take advantage of that. Praise the Lord. Now, let's go into the Word of God we were talking about in the last few episodes of the NetCast, questions that people had written in, and I attempted to answer them directly from the Word of God. We're going to go back to our original study now and get back into this message of what is faith. Let's go back to our theme scripture, main scripture of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now remember we found out this word now is a uh, Greek word that is talking about it said, you know, the, the definition even says it's often unexpressed in English, but it basically means a continuing form. So faith, the word faith, of course here, is the Greek word pistis. That's the word for faith in Greek. That's the transliteration. And it is in the present tense. So this ongoing, continual present tense of faith is what we're talking about. Now, Let's go back into it. Now faith is the substance, or as we found, the giving of substance of things hoped for. The word hoped there is the Greek word elpis. It means a constant favorable anticipation or expectation. So it is the giving of substance to things that we have a confident expectation of. The evidence, now it's evidence that stands up in court, of things not seen, perceived, understood with the natural senses. What you see, what you hear, uh, what you can taste, all the senses are involved to connect you with this physical world. Well, this is the force of faith is a power that comes from outside the natural world but affects the natural world. See, God used his faith as a force to create everything we see and touch and taste, everything that we contact with our natural senses. So why is it so unusual to think that you can use that same force of faith, that same power of God, which is his faith, to correct or to bring the natural realm in line with his word and his will. Amen? That's what prayer and faith is all about, is using those uh, resources as tools to bring your life in line with the word of God. Amen? Praise the Lord. Let's keep reading. I tell you, this we're getting into some things here. For by it, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. Now remember we talked about the fact that you have to obtain a good report. A good report doesn't always just come automatically. There's a lot of doctors who have brought some bad reports to folks. And if you dwell on that bad report, if you stick with that bad report, then you will reap the results 
of the bad report and you don't want to do that <laughs> you don't want to have anything to do with that bad report you want the good one amen so we want a good report so how do you obtain a good report now I know it's talking about you know that the, the elders here uh, were well spoken of they had a good report concerning their life or uh, you know people uh, were able to look up to them because of what they had been able to do with their faith and so forth but I tell you a lot of times we talk about this whole issue of well, I got a bad report from the doctor well don't accept the bad report instead believe and receive and obtain a good report verse 3 through faith or by means of faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God God spoke his word light be and light was amen he used his words literally as tools and you need to use your words as tools to shape your world in the way that you want it to be you need to speak about your life your situation your circumstances the way you want it to be see that's the key that's what a lot of people miss a lot of Christians are failing because they're not speaking they're not applying the tools you know you'd be like a carpenter Let, let's use a carpenter's example a carpenter's got a hammer he's got a saw he's got all these tools but if he puts it up on the shelf puts those tools on the shelf and never uses them what is he gonna accomplish in his shop he's got wood in there he's got nails but they're never going to come together to make anything because he's not using his tools he's just leaving them on the shelf but a lot of Christians are leaving their tools on the shelf meaning they're not using their words they're not using the Word of God to bring into current manifested reality the the Word of God and what it says about you see the Word of God says you are the healed of the Lord Jesus bore my sicknesses he carried my diseases by his stripes we were healed words past tense so that means what Jesus did on the cross and what he bore for us provided for us healing it means we are the healed and you may say well yeah but dr. Bill I'm sick well then you need to get what has been provided for you into manifestation manifested actuality in this realm bring it from the spiritual realm into the physical realm by using your words by getting your words in line with the Word of God through faith or by means of faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God oh that term frame let's look at the at the uh, the meaning of this word framed the transliteration is cat artizo and it means to complete thoroughly to repair literally or figuratively to adjust woo hallelujah to fit to frame to mend to make perfect or perfectly joined together to prepare or to restore wow look at all those definitions look at what that means about your situation let's go back in and look at it and substitute some of these words the word the world was framed it was completed thoroughly the world was repaired the world was adjusted the world was made perfectly joined together it was restored see all of that now let's take it and apply it to your life your life can be restored your life can be adjusted by the Word of God you can adjust your circumstances with your words do you see that you can adjust restore fit and form perfectly together your circumstances by your words from the Word of God through or by means of faith we understand that the worlds were framed I love that by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear 
The things we see around us, this natural world, this, this uh, office and studio that I'm in right now, everything you see around me here, all of these things ultimately go back to God's faith and the words that he spoke. Let there be, let there be, let there be. Now, I know a lot of Christians say, yeah, but Dr. Bill, that was God. God can say things and of course they'll come to pass. Well, he gave us his faith. Jesus said in Mark chapter 11, verses 22, 23, and 24, but specifically in verse 22, he said, have the faith of God. Now, he wouldn't tell you have the faith of God unless you had access to the faith of God. Jesus is not unjust. He is just. Amen? And so when he says have the faith of God, and by the way, here's how you use the faith of God, then we see how these things work and work together. Let's go over, I know a lot of you know this scripture very, very, very well, but we're going to go over there. Mark chapter uh, 11. Uh, actually, I went to the wrong place there. <laughs> I went to Mark chapter 4. I always end up at Mark chapter 4 one way or the other because I love that scripture so much. But we're going to Mark 11 right now. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Or, some translations say, Have the God kind of faith. Or, use God's kind of faith. Amen. Now here's how you do it. For verily I say unto you that whosoever, I'm a whosoever, whosoever shall say, notice say, that's using words, say unto this mountain, issue, problem, whatever it may be in your life, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, so you're speaking to the circumstance, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he'll have whatsoever he saith. So there's three sayings to one believing. <laughs> As Brother Hagin uh, pointed out many years ago, there's, in this verse, three sayings <laughs> to one believing. Amen. So, we say unto the problem, the situation, the mountain, the circumstance in our life, and we correct it, we restore it, we put it right. Remember that's what the word framed there meant back in Hebrews chapter 11? So we take our words like a tool, we apply them to the situation, and we get the results of the change in that circumstance. Now, let's see if it's not borne out by verse 24. Therefore, because of this, I say unto you, what things soever you desire... When you pray, believe that you receive them, them what? Well, I know this is bad English, but them things. <laughs> receive them things you prayed for. <laughs> Amen. See, let's go, go back and read here. When you pray, believe you receive them, the things you're believing to receive in prayer. And you shall have them. That doesn't mean they pop into existence instantly. Notice the phraseology here. Ye shall have them. It is a thing that may develop over time. It may take some time for the manifestation. But see, we're eternal beings. You are a spirit. You have a soul. My will and emotions. You live in a physical body. Now you can put that in, in the Greek. You are a pneuma, a spirit. You have a suke, my will and emotions. You live in a soma, your physical body. This physical body that you see that's, that's on camera that you're seeing right now in the video, that's just my body. It's not the real me. Praise the Lord. I am a spirit. I live in this body. Me, the spirit man, I live in this body. I have a mind, will, and emotions. But that mind, will, and emotions isn't me. It's my possession. I don't let my mind, my will, or my emotions drive me. I don't let my mind, will, and emotions determine my outcome. I am a spirit. I have a mind. I can do with it what I want. I have a body. I can do with it what I want. And so those are my possessions as a spirit being. Amen? So why do I say all that? Because remember, we're bringing things from the spiritual realm into the physical realm. You cross the bridge, so to speak, between the two. All right? 
you live in a physical body, so you have contact with the physical realm, but you're still a spirit being that lives in this physical body. So you basically, put it this way, you have one foot in the spirit realm and one foot in the natural realm. And when we speak words and use our faith, we're using tools that are not carnal. Weapons of warfare that are not physical or carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So we use the tools we have at our disposal to correct, to restore, to frame this natural realm in the manner or uh, way that we want it to be, which is basically what's in line with the Word of God. We take what's in the Word, by His stripes we were healed, we apply it with our tongue, with our mouth, with our words, because that's our tool, it's a tool set that we have, and it comes to pass. Amen? And it comes into the physical, natural reality. That's how all of faith works. Believe it in your heart, confess it with your mouth, it comes to pass. Believe it in your heart, confess it with your mouth. Now here's the thing, even if you are not believing correctly, if you're not believing what you need to be believing, if you're believing negative things, if you're believing uh, gloom, despair, and agony, <laughs> <laughs> to quote the old Hee Haw song, the, and you confess it, you bring that to pass in the natural realm. You don't want that. You know, when people start saying, well, you know, Dr. Bill, I don't have enough money. They're going to take my house. You're bringing into manifestation the reality of that, and you can cause that to come to pass in your life. So it's important not to say what you don't want to happen. I realize that's in the negative, but you understand what I'm saying. The positive way of saying it is you want to say what you want to happen. Amen? <laughs> but the negative side of that is you don't want to say what you don't want to happen. <laughs> Amen? And that's what, unfortunately, a lot of people do. They refuse to say what the Word says they refuse to say what their natural, even their natural desire is because they're too busy saying the negative. They're too busy saying, I'm not going to make it. How am I going to make it? I can't do this. I can't do that. Woe is me. I'm sick. On and on and on. And they end up reaping the result of that. That's not what you want. You want to reap the good results of the Word of God. You want to reap the blessings. You should be living in the blessing. Capital T, the capital B, blessing. Amen. You are blessed and you are highly favored. And you need to start saying that and you need to start bringing that into manifestation in your life, correcting and restoring what is truly yours in the spiritual realm and bring it into the natural realm. Amen? Do you see that? That's what you need to start doing. Now, that's how faith works. You have faith. God has given it unto every man among us as believers the measure of faith. Not a measure. Not a, Some get a big measure and you get a little measure. No. The same measure, but it's up to us to develop it. It's up to us to use it. And like a muscle, it gets bigger when you use it. It gets, more, it gets stronger, more powerful when you use your faith. So start using your faith on purpose. Start speaking words in line with the Word of God about your life. Don't say those things you don't want to come to pass, and you'll start seeing a change in your circumstances and in your life. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to write me here at Word of Faith Ministries, our address, Word of Faith Ministries. P.O. Box 5213-5213, High Point, North Carolina. Our zip code is 27262. You can write us there, and I enjoy getting your letters. Also, your emails. If you want to send us email, you can go to the website, go down to the very bottom of the page, and use that little form to send us an email, or you can just simply send an email to my email address, which is drbill, D-R-B-I-L-L, -L, at W-O-F-M, 
www.ghostbusters.org. I'll put it here on the screen so you can see that. Use that address. Send me questions, you know, whatever you'd like to send me. I want to hear from you. I'm blessed to know there are people out there receiving and watching the videos, listening to the radio program, just being blessed by the ministry. That's just always exciting to me. Well, I'll tell you what, join us next time. Remember until then to fulfill the Word of God. The Word of Faith Netcast is brought to you by Word of Faith Ministries and our partners around the world.